Hey, you might think I'm the dumbest person on planet Earth, but check this out. States have tried to pass photo ID, a photo ID. He's actually gone to court to stop them from doing it. We are here to announce that the Justice Department will file suit later today against the state of North Carolina to challenge portions of that state's highly restrictive new voting law. Then to make it easier, he has now opened refugee offices in Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala where people can, without leaving their homes, apply to come into the United States legally. And he's had what? the United Nations insist that the United States admit at least 100,000 or probably more of these refugees into the U.S. And then he reached out and brought 90,000 Somalians in two months ago, 100,000 Iraqis. He just allowed 100,000 Syrians to come in. This is all part of recruiting for his ghost army. All these people coming Ghost in Army. and continuing to come in is detrimental to the American worker. I've been on unemployment for um, seven months. I'm tired of unemployment. I want a job. If you got people come to this country illegally, and then you got people coming over the summer here, like um, from Russia and, and all the different places, we don't have a chance. That's part of an effort on his part to lower and freeze the wages of lower income Americans because he wants to force them out of the world of work and into the world of welfare. In the next segment, Dick Morris reveals how the massive increase of entitlement programs is helping President Obama put the Republican Party out of business and creating a one party state. Stay tuned. Make sure to get your copy of Dick Morris bestseller Power Grab available. At so if they get us more on welfare, that means they control us more. Yes or no?